Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to install Optifine and Shaders for Minecraft 1.18.2. If you've clicked this video then you're probably here to actually try and use shaders in minecraft 1.18.2 and in this video you're going to learn how to do it using optifine there's other ways to do it but we're going to be using optifine for this video before we get started of course hit that thumbs up if you're already looking forward to this tutorial then of course hit that subscribe button as well and you might want to check out my twitch channel where i do streams about Minecraft usually. To get started installing Optifine, what you want to do is click your Minecraft launcher. Then once over here, make sure to select the latest release, 1.18.2. If you're watching this in the future, you can go over to installations right here, click new installation, name it whatever you want, and then under version, search for release 1.18.2. And this way you will still be able to download and install 1.18.2 to your PC. Just click create. And now you can play any of the profiles that say 1.18.2. Now that you've made it to the main menu, that's all you gotta do, you can just click quit game now. Now the next thing to do is actually download and install Optifine, so open up your browser, you can either use the link down below in the description or just look everything up yourself, but what I'm gonna do is use the link down below in the description. That will bring you to this page where it says how to install Optifine and shaders, this page will contain all the useful links that you're gonna need to install Optifine. So what you wanna do is actually go over to this link right here, optifine.net slash downloads. And as you can see, there is no full release for Minecraft 1.18.2 yet. So what you gotta do first is click preview versions, but in the future, maybe in a few days, you won't have to do this anymore. And it will just pop up like this and you don't have to click preview versions. For now you do, and you can click either the download button or the mirror button. The mirror button will download it directly and this one will actually show an ad. It doesn't really matter which one you clicked. It will take you to this page where I recommend you click this link and then immediately close the tab because it will redirect you to an ad page. Now, as you can see, it's downloaded Optifine to my PC. And as you can clearly see, if we make it a little bit bigger here, it has a Java icon. And that is essential because you need to open it with Java. So if it doesn't show this icon, you can try this first. Click show in folder, right click, open with and find Java platform SE binary. If it's not there, that is likely because you won't have Java on your PC. So what we're gonna do is fix this first. If you are not having trouble with any of this, you can skip to the next step using the timestamps in the video. If you are having issues with this, with opening this file, then go back to this post, scroll down a little bit. Over here, it says Jarfix in Java. Run Jarfix first. And once you run that program and it says successfully fixed the jar suffix, you can now actually open the Optifine installer. If it says you don't have Java on your PC, you're gonna to wanna to click this next link to actually get Java on your PC. So after that, you should be able to actually open this file with Java. Just click this file. It will open an installer for 1.18.2. Just click install. This will take a few seconds and it might freeze and then eventually it will say Optifine is successfully installed. Now you click OK. And now the next thing you do is already install the shaders that you want. So over on this website, shaderpacks.net, you can find a bunch of shader packs. I'm gonna use the one that is actually listed in this post. So you just click this link. It'll take you to Silder's Enhanced Default for Minecraft 1.18.2. You click Download Enhanced Default and click this download link right here. This will take you to CurseForge and you can just click this download button right here under the one that says 1.18 or 1.18.1 or in a few days this should also say 1.18.2. Click download. Now you have to wait five seconds for this download to actually start automatically. And there we go. That is Silder's Enhanced Default. This is a shader pack that many of you should be able to run. I'm gonna drag this over to my desktop just like that because what you wanna do now is actually go to your search bar, type in percent, app data percent hit enter go to the folder that says dot minecraft if you've never installed shader packs before you're gonna have to right click in here hover new click folder and name it shader packs all lowercase there we go just click the newly created folder drag in all the shaders that you want to use you can use any shaders you want as long as you leave it as a zip file because that's what some people do they actually click this file and then try to drag out these shaders but that doesn't work, that will break the shaders. They have to be left as a zip file. So now you can just close this window, open up your Minecraft launcher, and as you can see, it's automatically selected the Optifine profile right here for 1.18.2. You can also go over to installations, and if you have a bunch of installations, you can just type in Optifine, and as you can see, it will immediately show you Optifine, and you just gotta find the one that says 1.18.2. So just click play right here. It will show you a pop-up. If you've never played this version of Optifine before, it will always do that. Just read what it says. And if you do understand the risks, you tick this box and you click play. 
So here we are, Minecraft 1.18.2. It says modded. And if we go over to options and then video settings, as you can see, let me make this window a little bit bigger. You can see in the bottom left corner, it says Optifine HD and the rest doesn't really matter. As long as it says Minecraft 1.18.2 in the bottom right corner, you're good to go. So now you can just click shaders, select the one that you just added to the shader packs folder. This will actually enable the shader pack. Just click done, done and done again and load up any single player world to actually check out your newly added shaders. So there we go. That's how you install shaders for Minecraft 1.18.2. Now that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you actually did, it's pretty clear. I mean, you know what to do. Just hit that thumbs up to let YouTube know that this video actually worked and helped you out a bunch. Of course, be sure to subscribe and also join the channel if you actually feel like supporting this channel. And then, like I said, we have our own Minecraft server, which is play.danielplace.net. And then, of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.